Yoga Initiation Bureau. Hi, Yasha, and welcome to the Annex of the Ghana Council of Organization for Persons with Disabilities. Thank you for having me. You're most welcome. This is like the main hub of the activities for the Council, but we still maintain an office at 44 High Street, our main office. That's great. Tell me a little bit about the work of the Council and what do you do here? All right, um, we basically coordinate a lot of the programs from this office. So the Ghana Council is the umbrella body for the majority of disabled people organizations in Ghana, about 24 of them. So we're a national representative body. So you're the umbrella organization yes, of all yes. uh, different entities that represent different disability groups, that's, correct? That's absolutely correct. That's and so we have a number of program areas, but our main focus is advocacy, but we also do a lot of work in the empowerment of persons with disabilities through education, skills, training, and so forth. So currently we have a few programs in, in, in that area. Um, we have a skills training program for people with disabilities, preparing them for employment. We have a STEM club program where we teach robotics. To girls and boys alike? Or, yes, Okay. everyone. Every, <laughs> I want to make sure. All children with disabilities in all the special schools. Um, we also have a guidance counseling program for young people with disabilities, including children. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yes, you. Um, I must highlight that all of our programs cater for the marginalized communities of persons with disabilities. So women, girls, indigenous persons with disabilities, all are included in, in our programs. So there's no segregation of certain types of disabilities. Well, that's wonderful to hear because this year's theme on the uh, rights of persons with disability is about inclusion. It's about achieving this, um, uh, the sustainable development goals, making sure that it's inclusive. And I'm, I'm very glad to hear about the advocacy work you do because we are strong proponents of the belief that no decision about us should be taken without us. What do you say to that? I am in full agreement, Yashim. And it is something that we have been talking about for years because decisions have been made um, on behalf of us without any inclusion. And it's something that really gets to the, the core of us as disability advocates. Mm -hmm. And recently we established a disability advocate group um, and it's called Advocates for Change. And that came out of a disability studies training. But the main focus of that group is to ensure that persons with disabilities are included at all um, levels of decision making. And we lobby government, whether it's at local government, the regional government or national. That is the main focus, to get people with disabilities involved at all levels. That, that's really fantastic to hear. And that's an area, of course, we look forward to cooperating more with you on. But you mentioned a lot of the education programs, and I couldn't help but uh, notice that a lot of the work you're doing is targeting young men and women, but children as well. And I wanted to share with you that, you know, our UNICEF, the UN Agency for Children, is working very closely with the Ministry of Education on the National Education Plan trying to make sure that it is indeed inclusive. Um, these two, are, in our opinion, making education inclusive and, and, and uh, accessible to persons with disabilities is one of the most important obligations under the convention and it's one of the most important ways in which we measure the success of a society. What do you think? Uh, you know, that is so true because we, are, we share the view that Education provides that foundation for the development of any individual. And if you're going to ensure that children with disabilities develop to be independent, productive adults, mm -hmm. they must have that education. And in order for them to get that, you must have the strategic framework, the policy. And we do appreciate UNICEF work to ensure that the Ministry of Education do what they're supposed to, providing education for children with disabilities. We're very proud of that work as well. Well, can you show me around a little bit Definitely. of the center? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Shim, this is our um, area where volunteers and interns, they work from. We have cubicles here. You have um, our coordinator for the Women's with Disabilities Network, Rosemary Ramit. Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. How are this you? This is Yashim. Good to meet you. So, Rosemary, if you want to tell Yashim a bit about the Women with Disabilities Network. Part of the council, um, we had recognized the importance of having a subgroup that specifically represented the needs of women with disabilities. Fantastic. And um, I think this is the first time that we have a subgroup of this nature in our disabled people's organization. And so the first thing that we wanted to do was to educate women with disabilities on gender based violence. And that was because we recently observed the International Day of the Elimination of Violence Against Women. Exactly. 
And from there, we will work more towards empowering and building the capacity of women with disabilities so that we could be more adequately represented in mm -hmm. the disability community. And to ending all kinds of violence against, against women, women, especially Correct. women with disabilities. Yes, because we do recognize that they are a lot more vulnerable Correct. to this kind of, of violence. Correct. And so that is something that we're working to eliminate. Correct. It requires all hands on deck, Definitely. all of government, but all of civil society and Definitely. all of society. I agree. And that is one of the reasons why in our plan, we also aim to collaborate with other women rights agencies and That's NGOs. Perfect so that we can have them also include women with disabilities a lot more in their advocacy. That's, that sounds exactly like the right thing to do. Again, Thank you know, you. to the point of no decisions about us without us, Correct. we need to have women with disability in the broader women's movement. Yes, The women's movement is essential to ending violence against women, yes. but it will not be complete unless women with disability are also expressing yes. their concerns in, in, in that movement. Yes. So That's thank you, Rosemary, for all that you're doing. Thank you so much. And um, to show our appreciation as we collaborate to kind of seal the deal, if I could put it that way, I would like you to present you with this t-shirt. Oh my! <laughs> that we had at our workshop, gender-based violence workshop. Oh, this is fantastic. So, yes, now you are officially part of our <laughs> program. Thank you very much. You're well, I'm welcome. proud to receive this from you and, and I hope to wear it. Thank Definitely. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> right. I appreciate the work. Well, Ganesh, colleagues, this has been wonderful visiting you at your office and learning more about your work. Thank you so much for having me. You're most welcome, Yashiv, and it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you at the UN House soon. Definitely, we'll be there. Okay, great. Bye-bye, Rosemary. Bye-bye, Akira. Bye-bye, Ganesh. Bye, Yashiv. <laughs>